Okay, well, there's this stuff yesterday um, on um, Ten Kept Rolling. I was thinking about songs where you could play one note and uh, everyone would know what it is, right? So if you're playing in a bar or something, you play the cover. Um, maybe start Brown Sugar with the open G chord. Uh, I'm just in normal tune in here. And I was thinking about how about Nine Lives by Aerosmith, right? Nine Lives starts like this. <laughs> Even at this volume, you can get the, 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 the rub of that one. Right? So we've got a low G note, 10A. We shake it. G chord. C to A. Z, B, A sharp, E. And then what you'd have to call the nine lives chord. At this point, Brad Whitford plays first solo of the album. And it's a fantastic album, it was. So far we've got this slide. And there are meowing cats noises, as I'm sure you know, and then the band just explode with G chord G A C A. See the tail starts singing and E. He plays his fives. Right? And then as I say, the nine lines chord, which I'll spell it as C sharp, A flat, G, B. Now you can either isolate them, Just let them rub. And then and Brad Whitford plays the first solo of the album and it, it, it's just nearly a fantastic record, right? And he plays, starts off. So that's coming off a uh, Dorian scale in A, although I'm sure you didn't think of it in this way, with a flat five. And bend D. Same again, nearly. At the end of it, play A, A G A. Then we've got a repeated lick. So far we've got And at the end we play that sort of five note. That's what's scale. Right, so bend the D. Gordon, but absolutely.